The first new feature in this release is the ability to customize colors, and the second is the ability to specify dimensions in the monitoring report. So we can see the colors here, we've got medium green, red, and yellow. And to change these colors of these displacement vectors, we need to go to the Project Explorer, right click in that area, and we're going to select Project Settings. After selecting Project Settings, we are going to navigate towards the View tab, and we're going to click on that View tab and scroll down until we find the Monitoring tab. We're going to click on that, and here we can see the different colors that we have for the OK state, for the warning state, and for the alarm state. And you can choose whatever color you prefer for each of these levels. And having that customization ability caters to different visualization preferences and can ease usability for users experiencing color vision deficiency. So here are our new colors and that's how it looks. But now we can notice that in our Project Explorer, our monitoring project has turned red. And what that means is we need to go to the monitoring tab and sync our monitoring project so that these visualization settings will be saved for the next time we add new data to this monitoring project. Now we can go to the monitoring report and we can select the monitoring points that we want to include in our monitoring report. And at the bottom here, we can see the dimension type that we want to choose. This time we can have options. We can go 1D, 2D, or 3D. Before it would just show everything, but now you can select. And that's really helpful when you're dealing with leveling data where it's only one dimension and it is heights. So all our charts are only going to be dealing with height information. And if we scroll down, our thresholds are also just gonna be elevation thresholds. And our readings are just going to be talking about heights. So now we can go to the 2D type, and that's useful when we are just dealing with Eastings and Northings. We don't necessarily have heights, and we have Eastings and Northings as well on all these different charts. We won't really see height information. We're going to see Easting, Northing, and 2D information. And we can see that our thresholds here are also just 2D and our readings are going to display Eastings and Northings and more 2D deltas. And the third option has everything.